Hi, it's Michael here. And this is a fascinating question. It's how do you have a great time and ensure the audience have, the audience have a great time too? <laughs> Love it. Well, let's be realistic for a second. Most of the time you're probably not going to have a great time because you're going to be going to the paroxysms of nerves and self-belief that most of us do. God, how's this going to go? But I think what really helps to have a good time is to be really enthused about what you're talking about. And I don't mean bouncing off the walls and using all sorts of ridiculous techniques that certain speakers put across. To have a genuine enthusiasm for your subject. And if you're interested and you're engaged in it and you've got a fair amount of energy in you to put that across, that will transmit to the audience. You'll infect them with it. Enthusiasm is infect infectious or infective, call it what you like. And so smile a lot as well. Most people look as if they've got a face like a bag full of spanners when they're talking. And even I on these videos have to not force myself to smile. I'm quite a smiley person, but when I look on the tape, I often look incredibly serious. So do force yourself to smile, even though you may not feel like it, more than you probably would. Because the act of doing so actually triggers off endorphins in the brain. The physical act of putting your mouth into a smile actually triggers off endorphins in the brain, so you start to feel better, and that transmits to the audience. But also, I'd have a sense of intent inside that you're going to enjoy this, and that what you have is of real value to whoever you're talking to. And I just want to finish with a little story that this was President Kennedy's speechwriter talking to him. I think her name was Peggy Noonan. I may be wrong. And he, she was preparing him for his first meeting with Nikita Khrushchev, who was the leader, leader of the Soviet Union at the time. And she said, Mr. President, when you meet the Secretary General of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union for the first time, say this to yourself inside. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad you're here, and I know what I know. Try that on for size. Say it to yourself. Just say it now. I'm glad I'm here, I'm glad you're here, and I know what I know. Not only does it have quite a centering effect, but it starts you on the journey of knowing that you've got something good to give them and they're going to enjoy it. See you on the next one.